The thing I wanted to find out from Zach Dicer, why there were so many good plays. You lay it on the line every week for your guys, don't you? Yeah. And why there were three or four oh, plays that you just can't explain. Down goes Dicer! Yeah. Well, what the hell are you doing? There's no more Mr. Nice Guy. Welcome to this Sports Center special, Gruden's QB Camp with Zach Dicer, presented by Corona Extra. I like Zach Dicer. Dicer looks to the corner, touchdown to Miami. He has talent. More of a pocket passer. Going toward the end zone, touchdown. Throw on the run, escape ability, being able to see the field, anticipation. Escapes the tackle, on the run, to the end zone, touchdown. What I do see is production, consistent production, and a kid that has playmaking ability. All right, Zach Dyser, I want to welcome you to the FFCA. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining me, Dad. I'm excited to be here. Everybody wants to know who the hell this guy is, Zach Dyser. Yeah. Big guy. Plays at Miami, Ohio. Three-time captain, they tell me. Yeah. Tell me who Zach Dyser is. What am I getting as the head coach of an NFL team if I draft this kid? I mean, I'm a simple kid. You know, I'm a small-town kid, so, uh, you know, it's like to keep things simple. You know, I like all those stats, 12,000 yards, 73 touchdowns, 64%. I'm into intangibles, too. I want, a, like, I want a guy that can lead our football team. And when I see a three-time captain, what is it about you that allows you to become a three-time captain at Miami? Uh, you know, that's know, never been done at Miami, Ohio. No. Uh, you know, it's my, my ability to relate with the players, pretty much, you know, uh, I'm a very easygoing guy, and, uh, you know, I know my players very well. So there's certain guys, you know, that I can get on a little bit harder than others, certain guys that I need to <clears throat> be a little bit more of a motivator, take them under my wing a little bit more. And, you know, that's that's what I feel like is the best thing for, about me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't treat every guy the same because nobody's the same. You remember this play here? <laughs> of course I remember this play. Isn't this the play that you have to make? You have to get this ball in the end zone, don't you? Fourth and inches, yes, sir. Isn't this one of the things that your players on your team admire about you the most? Oh, You're yeah. going to do whatever it takes to score here, aren't you? Yeah. And isn't this the play you hurt your spleen on? Yeah, last year my spleen on this play right here. What a hell of an effort. That's right. So you lay it on the line every week for your guys, don't you? Yeah. Got to. Uh, that's the only way, you know, that's the only way we play. Tell me about Miami of Ohio. They call this the cradle of coaches. And when you look at the amount of great coaches that have come through Miami, it's an amazing place. What 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 is this cradle of coaches all about? Oh, you know, it's, I mean, every good coach comes through Miami at some point, it seems like. Uh, you know, there's been so many. And, uh, you know, that's something we take great pride in. But, you know, when I see Eric Parsegan and Red Blank and Bo Schembechler, Woody Hayes, you know, a lot of great coaches. You know this coach here? Yeah, coach Harbaugh. Yeah, he was. Uh, he just came back last summer. We talked. Hey, you know where he played football, right? Miami. The of defensive course. back. He's got to be in the cradle of, of coaches. Course. I'm giving Harbaugh a plug here. Are you gonna get him a statue or not? He's <laughs> your most notorious alum, right? right I hope now. he gets one. He deserves one. That's for sure. Speaking of coaches, you had a lot of coaching changes at Miami. Yes, they I should have. call it the cradle of coaching changes. <laughs> How many different head coaches you played for? I had three different head coaches. Cradle of coaches. Cradle of a lot of coaches, right? Exactly. How many That's different right. coordinators did you have? Three different coordinators. How many quarterback coaches? Four different quarter, uh, coordinators. Uh, three quarterback head coaches. coaches, three coordinators, and, and four different quarterback coaches? Yes, sir. What did it do to derail you, the new coaches, every year? I mean, it was a little uh, it was a little disappointing sometimes, you know, right when you, uh, right when you got used to a system, they left. Right when you got used to a system, they left. Right when you tried to master the system, they left. And then, uh, you know, it was just hard at times. Here, here's one thing I want you to get out of this visit, Zach. Yes, sir. Just write down, get used to it, okay? Yeah. Because coaching changes, I'm at the FFCA because I got what? What happened to me? Fired. What? Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> Run out. Bum, gone. <laughs> All right, so did my 18 assistant coaches, okay? Yeah. Yes, Tim Tebow, you know him? He's an yeah, alum. Yeah. All right, he was drafted by Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels left. They brought in Coach Fox. 
Then he got traded to the Jets, and he had to learn a new offense from Coach Sperano. And I don't know who's going to coach him next year. Exactly. Yeah. How about Wheaton? He was just saying here, started last year as a rookie. What's he going through? Coaching change. Coaching change. Can't be an excuse. Nope. But the great thing I see in you is I think you've shown the ability to adapt. But what happened to Flacco this year after about week 10? They changed okay. offensive okay. coordinator. Okay. So I want you to look at that as a positive mm -hmm. in some regards. You have shown the ability to adapt, and you're going to have to continue to show that ability. Yes, sir, definitely. Aren't you from Ada? I am from Ada, yes. Look at that. Isn't that the way they make the Wilson footballs? Every single one, man. What's that factory? They just got to be great, man. They're making oh, it's footballs awesome. right where you grew up? Exactly. It's awesome, man. There's a school field trip every year. <laughs> yeah, a school field trip to the, to the Wilson, Wilson football, factory. football factory? Yeah. They sew those by hand. Every one of them. Yeah. Look at these people at these Miami games raising hell in the parking lot, cooking yeah. burgers. I mean, it, was a, it wasn't a big-time stadium. It wasn't hundreds of thousands of fans. And what is this, Deers? Yes, sir. What the heck's going on at Miami? Hey, there will be Deers running through campus. It's really? crazy, yeah. Is that a distraction when you're playing quarterback and you got a buck running through your... <laughs> Try not to think about it, sir. So. <laughs> I didn't even notice it at the time, so I guess not. Yeah, I enjoy watching your films, can you tell? <laughs> I appreciate it. And speaking of leaderships, I got to ask you, uh, does this kid's name ever come up around Miami? Big Ben up top. It's Robinson. It's caught. It's touchdown. Are there any similarities that you see between you and Roethlisberger and the style in which you play? I mean, we can both make plays with our feet when we need to. Uh-huh. Ex extend that play just a little bit longer to get somebody open. Tell me. This is what people want to know. Is there, is there this kind of upside in this Dicer kit? Yes, sir. You know, the bigger the game, that's what, you know, that's what I love. Those big games in Ohio State, Florida. But he's not just a great quarterback. He's a two-time what? Super Bowl champion. Yeah, he's the face of the franchise. And that's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. At the FFCA and in the NFL. Can you, can you bring it? Yes, sir. Whatever you guys need me to do. Coming up on Gruden's QB Camp. Well, just tell me what happened. Down goes Dyson.